Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Nikki Haley has just delivered some harsh truth, her words, to her fans after getting steamrolled by Donald Trump in her home state. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. Nikki Haley gave a speech in light of being totally decimated by Donald Trump in her home state of South Carolina. And she said in her state, they're like a family. And a family has to deal with harsh truths with each other. I'm not going to get too much into it. I want you to hear what she had to say about harsh truth and then give me your opinion on what's going on. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. I've always seen our state as a family. Families are honest with each other. They say the hard truths. That's what I've done this entire campaign. And that's what I'll do now. What I saw today was South Carolina's frustration with our country's direction. I've seen that same frustration nationwide. I share it. I feel it to my core. I couldn't be more worried about America. It seems like our country is falling apart. But here's the thing. America will come apart if we make the wrong choices. This has never been about me or my political future. We need to beat Joe Biden in November. I don't believe Donald Trump can beat Joe Biden. Nearly every day, Trump drives people away, including with his comments just yesterday. Today in South Carolina, we're getting around 40% of the vote. That, that's, about what, that's about what we got in New Hampshire, too. I'm going to count it. I know 40% is not 50%. But I also know 40% is not some tiny group. There are huge numbers of voters in our Republican primaries who are saying they want an alternative. this week that no matter what happens in South Carolina, I would continue to run for president. I'm a woman of my word. giving up this fight when a majority of Americans disapprove of both Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Yeah. 